Good morning, Oklahoma. Welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week we're joined again by Dr. Rosslyn Biggs, and we're going to talk about water. And our title, Rosslyn, is it good enough to drink? I know you got some specific things that sure. we want to address. And that first one is how do we handle situations if there's been some water deprivation? Absolutely, especially during these summer months, our, our classic our classic story is, you know, the automatic water stopped and nobody, nobody checked it, checked it every day. And so what we need to do in those cases is really monitor those animals super closely. Um, particularly in cattle, we need to make sure that when we go to rewater them, we do that over an extended period of time. And why is that important? It's super important because as, as animals become water deprived, um, their electrolyte imbalances get out of whack. And we have a buildup of sodium, uh, particularly in, in the brain. And so if we rewater too quickly, then that water flows to that sodium in the brain and then we, we see neurologic signs related to that, even as severe as death. We've been hearing for a while about blue-green algae. Blue-green algae is, is always a concern, uh, particularly in the summer. We need to be watching for um, blooms of, of blue-green algae. You know, our, our classic sign with that one is we find cattle or, or even wildlife too. Wildlife may be our initial indicator. Uh, birds included that are dead immediately around that that farm pond. So we need to be watching those ponds and um, monitoring that particularly if we've had runoff of excessive amounts of manure or fertilizer that can put us in a situation where we see those blue green algae blooms. So even areas where maybe we fed hay something like that that runs off puts us more at risk for blue-green algae. Absolutely, we, we wanna be watching really any of our water sources for it, but in those particular conditions, it can set us up. Mm -hmm. And sulfates. Sulfates are another one that uh, here in Oklahoma, we see uh, a variety of, of water sources and we can have heavy sulfates. It's important to recognize with sulfates that they're additive too. So if we're feeding like a DDG or something like that, that the sulfates in the feed can combine with sulfates in the water and get us at levels that can become toxic. Uh, nitrates are another one that we want to watch. Uh, we usually think of nitrates uh, during forage, you know, forage analysis. We want to make sure that we're not getting nitrates uh, in, in that hay, et cetera. But the classic sign we see uh, at our diagnostic lab, for instance, here at Oklahoma State, is uh, watering out of containers that used to hold uh, some type of fertilizer. And in that case, even those super, super small amounts, uh, it's heavily concentrated fertilizer. We fill that up, then we water the stock with it. Uh, we can see toxicities related to that too. Any preventative measures or any good management practices that you suggest? The good management practice is check that water every day and make sure that it's, it's clean and fresh. Uh, make sure that all the animals have access to it. Uh, that's, the, that's the first and foremost. And then, um, you know, reach out to your veterinarian if you start to see uh, conditions related to that or you unfortunately find yourself in a situation where you're needing to rewater animals that have been water deprived. Well, Dr. Biggs, thank you for joining us and thanks to you all for joining us this week on Cow-Calf Corner.